Hello guys, in this little tutorial, video tutorial, I'm going to explain how to uh, uh, get the EPROM from your radio into IPSKY, edit the EPROM, copy new model to the EPROM from your radio that you just downloaded, and then uh, burn it back to the radio. Also, I will explain how to customize uh, the splash screen for your radio. <coughs> and uh, how to flash the firmware. So, <coughs> let's start by downloading some firmware for the radio. So you can go, if you want to release version of the firmware, you can just go to www er9x.com <coughs> and download the firmware for your your Skydynx radio it is for the skyboard that's for skyboard and a air 9x board that's for the 9xr pro terrain is x plus and 9 extreme or the other option is to go to the <coughs> open RC forums ER Skyline next test versions and download a test version if you want to test it or if you trust trust it these uh, versions uh, have new features but can also have some little minor bugs. I never found a major bug on one of the test versions that Mike posted here. So <coughs> I think they can be used reliably. So I'm going to download this one. It's kind of next provisory uh, revision 219. Let's download this. I want to save the file. That's a zip file gonna save it on downloads use kind of next test versions so I'm gonna download it here is download I'm going now to the folder <coughs> and I'm going to unzip it will extract everything so extract all So, have a folder here with all the files. So, <coughs> here's the file for the Skyboard and uh, AR9X board. This one is for the 9 Extreme board. This one is for the 9XR Pro. Terminus Plus. No, Terranis and Terranis Plus. Okay, I'm going to work. I'm going to flash the firmware to my AR9X radio. And um, I'm assuming, I'm assuming, I mean, that you have <coughs> the latest version already installed. Uh, latest version of ERNX. So we need to start the radio in bootloader mode and uh, connect to the PC. In this case, this radio here, you only have to plug the USB cable and then just turn it on. The 9 Extreme radio, you need to first put it in bootloader mode. That means you need to turn the radio on while holding both horizontal trims inwards that means towards the center of the radio and this is while you turn on the radio goes into bootloader mode and only then you can connect the USB cable to the computer and radio on the ARNX port 
you connect the USB cable first. That means the Air Nanex board, the Nanex R Pro, and the Skyboard. You all you can always connect the USB cable before you turn the radio on, <coughs> unless you have a very 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 old version of USB Nanex installed. Then you you must put it in bootloader mode before. Okay, I got the USB connected. I turned the radio on. It's in bootloader and it's connected. It's connecting. You might see the drives appear shortly. There they are. We don't need, we don't need this one. Okay, I could just open the folder here from the memory card from the radio and I could just copy the firmware here from from that just downloaded to the SD card. But we're not going to do it this way, we're going to use Ipsky. And then ah okay just copy there and then we could just flash from the bootloader. But we're going to use uh, Ipsky to do this. So I'm going to close this drive here. I'm going to get Ipsky. <coughs> Sorry. What I'm going to do? I'm going to customize also my splash screen. I got some splash screens that I downloaded from somewhere some time ago. And I'm going to click here to open this uh, customized splash screen uh, window. So I'm going to load an image. I have to <laughs> find them. I have to find them here. Somewhere here. Ah, there they are. I'm going to use this one. So, okay. So now I'm going to save this to the binary, to the firmware file which is downloads, it's got test versions here, I want to save on this one US Kylan X ROM bin so successfully updated the bin file so now the splash screen is in this file can close this and we can flash the firmware to the radio. For that, and using Ipsky, we use this icon here. We just click on it, find the version you want to flash to the radio, which is this one here. We have Skynanex ROM pin. Open it. Right here, Skynanex ROM bin to flash memory, of course, that's what we want. Now we have to wait, and operation successful. So, it's as easy as this to flash the firmware to the radio using Ipsky. This is this easy. Now, we're going to download the app ROM from the radio into AppSky. We just click this icon here. Wait, it's downloading. And we got it. Yeah. Here are all my models. So I want to save this to the to the PC, to the computer, but first I want to do some editing. So I'm I want to delete a couple of models here. I want to delete this one, I want to delete this one, and I'll leave the other ones. And I also want to copy another model from another prom from the 9XR Pro, for example. So I just open another prom, open, to find my proms. They are here somewhere. Here's kind of next, Nanexa Pro, a prompt. So I got my prompts here. 
they are saved they have been saving very old one September 2015 okay let's open this one here you go I want to put one of the models on my ARNNX uh, board uh, radio so let's put this one we just copy from one to the other and also this one extra lucky this is a very nice model can close this one and now we can flash the EPROM back to the radio that's very easy we use this icon here these two icons here are for the EPROM these two icons are for read and flash the firmware this is to read and flash the EPROM here so we're going to flash the EPROM back to the radio it's easy as flashing the firmware you just click on this item here write document 3 bin to a prom memory yes of course <coughs> wait until it's finished and operation successful the prom now is saved to the radio so I have all these model the models that are put there in the prom they should be there on the radio now and if I have done other editing all the editing should be there as well together with the EPROM so now the only thing remaining is to just to save our EPROM to the computer for that we go to file save as we give it a name we don't want to save on the Nexar Pro, I'm going to save the, my AR Nanex board, AirProm, give it a name, I'm going to give it just like this, but instead just change the date. Today is 06 I'm going to write Feb for February in 2016 so now just hit save and your EPROM is saved don't forget to eject the drives before you disconnect the USB cable from the radio or you can damage your SD card so eject the radio save to remove hardware and we can disconnect the radio and turn it off and this concludes this little uh, video tutorial I hope I explain everything in a way that made make easy for you to understand how to do how to flash the firmware and to back up the prom and flash the prom so, I hope this was help helpful and uh, thanks for watching.